Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the fresh new video on Python tutorials. A few minutes later. So this video is about building a port scanner, and for that you have to understand about what is port in the computer network. So you can simply Google it, and uh, okay. So in, and you can see here uh, something like in computer networking, a port is a communication endpoint. Uh, you can simply understand uh, it uh, as a house consists of two windows and a door. And for entering into that house, uh, you have two windows and a door. Uh, and uh, suppose the door is always open for entering into that house, and a window might be open or closed. So. Uh, these windows and door are port to that house okay so in this way uh, these ports are, are are like the window and door uh, to a computer network okay Uh, so the logic behind port scanner simple port scanner is first uh, we'll import a socket okay so first we'll import a socket and uh, then we'll try to uh, establish the connection okay so if, uh, then we try to establish the connection and uh, if connection established okay so if okay so if connection succeed then uh, we can simply say that uh, our port is open and for uh, uh, establishing the connection we should have a um, target okay the ip of that target and uh, a port okay so we'll uh, we'll try to coincide that port and um, that uh, uh, target and uh, try to uh, establish a connection okay so if a uh, connection is established with you with that port with using that port then we can simply say that our port is open our that port is open okay so and if not if the if not then our that port is closed okay so okay so first uh, we'll uh, import okay so first uh, let me code and i'll explain you guys later okay so Okay, so I think we are done with the code and uh, let's run the code. Okay, so it is running. Okay, so it is asking for input and uh, okay, so www.lct.atu.nb. Okay, so uh, it might take time because uh, um, this code might be slow. Okay, and for fast, uh, you can do here something like uh, uh, for fast scanning, you can do something like uh, threading here and uh, Okay, uh, that makes your uh, code uh, more most faster. That make your port scanner more faster. Okay, so yeah, let's minimize it. And uh, okay, so I have a uh, made a script here called main dot pi, and which consists of uh, port scanning, uh, getting public address, IP address, and scanning your Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, so and. Um, at last, uh, uh, I have made uh, something like um, uh, cracking a zip file password, uh, and all these are in this script main.py, and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, for uh, port scanning here, I have used uh, a threading inside that script inside this script. Okay, so let's see uh, how it works. Okay, so okay, let's see it is uh, running or not. Okay, so it is still scanning, and let's run out that main file. I will open command prompt and I will set my first directory. Okay, uh, okay so you can see uh, I have made a script uh, AP network, and you can see here uh, uh, one number you, you, you can see a public address of sites, number two you can see port scanner, number three you can see scan IP uh, on your Wi Fi. Okay. Uh, basically it will scan all the IPs and MAC address of your uh, um, of the devices connected uh, in, in your Wi-Fi okay, so and at the last uh, number four uh, we have zip file cracker and uh, uh, and with, the, with that red color uh, uh, with the symbol plus uh, we have what's your choice so basically I'll show you here a port scanner and number two okay so it is asking for enter the target and www.lict.edu.nb okay so you can see uh, put okay you can see here uh, this this is the ip of that uh, site uh, okay and 
yes, that something like is 2 uh, 22 21 53 is a uh, open port okay so you can see it uh, it has shown our uh, port uh, 22 21 53 and our program is still sourcing and uh, okay so it have uh, it has so something like 21 22 port okay so you can see you can com you can compare the speed of uh, of scanning okay so okay so i uh, see you can you can compare the speed of scanning using threading and using non threading okay so uh, yeah this was for today tutorial i uh, hope to see you next one and the code for this script is also available in, in the description go and check it out yeah this was for today tutorial hope to see you on next one a few minutes later okay so first uh, we'll import a socket a module and uh, then we create a body scanner now uh, function and there we pass out uh, of the argument uh, target and uh, we'll do it by uh, exception handling and in try block you can see a for loop uh, for port in the range uh, 1 comma 63 so uh, basically this loop uh, will uh, uh, give a port uh, give a port number uh, in the range of uh, 1 comma uh, 63 so basically a port a variable port constitutes of a number in the range of 1 comma 653 so uh, in the range of that 653 uh, will uh, create a socket okay so you can see here socket dot socket will uh, create a socket and uh, you can see yes dot connect underscore ex target port and you can see here target and port okay so for each loop uh, for each loop uh, for okay so for each loop loop of port port okay with that port number uh, we'll try to connect uh, the port with target okay so if connection established okay this uh, connect underscore ex will uh, return true if connection established okay uh, and uh, if true means uh, either zero or one okay so you can see here uh, if results equals to zero that means if results equals to true that means if that function returns true then we can simply say that port is open okay that uh, if uh, the, that results uh, equals to true means we have successfully tried to connect with that target using that port okay so if result equals equals to zero uh, we can say that uh, that port is uh, open and you can see in accept block if uh, none of this uh, if exception occur then you uh, simply print uh, this and here you can see we have input uh, a target and we have called the port scanner function uh, with the uh, argument target okay 